Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Kylie Jenner inspired look. Her makeup look has been going crazy over Instagram lately and I've just been loving it so I thought that I would recreate it for today. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Starting off with primer, I'm just going to be using the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm just going to be applying that all over my face and just rubbing it in like I always would. Kylie's skin is always flawless, so I'm going to be using the most full coverage foundation that I own, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, and I'm obsessed with this foundation. It is such full coverage, and it is so amazing. Now I'm just going to be taking a light concealer. This is the Maybelline Stay All Day 24 Hour. I think that's what it's called. I'll list its real name down below, but it's in the lighter shade. And I'm just applying that to where my dark circles are just to conceal them just a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking my brand new NYX eyebrow kit in the darker shade. Again, I'll list it down below. But first of all, I'm just going to be taking the wax just to pat down my hairs, I guess. And then I'm just combing it through with a spoolie. And then soon I'll just add the powder through my brows as well. Now just setting under my eyes with a little bit of loose translucent powder. This one's by Face of Australia. Then setting the rest of my face with this Revlon Photo Ready Press Powder. Now I'm going to be taking one of my favourite contours of all time, this is the Femi Taupe and I'm just going to be contouring out my cheekbones. And then using one of my favourite bronzers, this one's by L'Oreal and I'm just going to be applying that where I normally bronze up my face. Again, I'm taking that taupe shade and I'm just going to be applying that now all over my eyelid just to give a faded brown effect. And now I'm just going to be taking this other Le Femme shade, I think it's called brown, but again I'll list it down below because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to be applying that over that taupe shade just to change the tone just a little bit. Now I'm just going to be going into this dark brown shade, which I believe is called dark brown, just on the outer corners, just to provide a bit more definition like Kylie has in the photo. Okay, I am so pissed off I lost this footage, but I used my Jordana Fabuliner and I just created a wing on each eye. Now I'm just going to be using the Benefit Give Me Brow and just brushing that through my eyebrows to give them a little bit of texture. And then a few coats of mascara just to my top and bottom lashes in preparation for fake eyelashes. Thank you. 
This part is so funny. These are the red cherry number 523, I believe, and I was sticking them on my eyes and I just thought they were way too dramatic, but I still stuck the other one on anyway, and then I just ripped them off. So, yeah. And then I found some less dramatic eyelashes. These ones are by Ardell and they are the Wispies, I do believe. Now I'm going to be lining my lips with this Chi Chi eyeliner. Not eyeliner, lip liner. I'll list the shade down below because I honestly can't remember it off the top of my head right now. And then I'll be going in with this Australis Velour Lip, and I believe this is in the shade Puri. Now I'm just trying to mix colours to get the perfect shade. So this is a Maybelline Matte Bold or Bold Matte Lipstick. I believe this is in the shade number 6. I think I'll list it down below. And there you have it. This is the finished look. This is my interpretation on the Kylie Jenner makeup that she's been wearing a lot lately. So yeah, if you create it, then please tag me on Instagram so I can have a look at your recreations. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.